My name is Dennis Thomas. I'd like to take a few minutes today to show you the Vaughn Corporation's combination rubber glove, sleeve, line hose, rubber blanket, temporary line jumper, and hood testing unit. It can range from 0 to 50,000 volts AC or 0 to 80,000 volts DC. It's very easily to change from either AC to DC and it is just very easily to operate and set up. I'm going to change it to class 0, 11 inch. You press your adjustment button, it automatically adjusts. You install your gloves. This machine will test uh, five pairs of gloves at a time or five sleeves at a time. Uh, if you don't wish to test but just a couple of pairs of gloves, you can easily shut off the other stations. The machine is automatically filling up. These two stations are left off. You, uh, you just have to pull the rods up for them to, to be left off. The machine will automatically close and test the gloves. Right now we have it preset for one minute. The exhaust fans have came on automatically because we're testing AC. Our voltage is automatically risen to 5,000 volts, uh, just like a ASTM has uh, mandated that it rise so many volts per second. And uh, the test has now started. We're 22 seconds into the test. This machine will tell you what your milliamp leakage is on each of your gloves. We're uh, class zero gloves, 11 inch, AC, 5,000 volts AC, positions one and two are bypassed. Each glove has got a milliamp reading. Uh, the test is complete. The voltage is coming down and opening it up. And the class zero gloves have been tested. What sold me on this machine was how easily it is to change from gloves to sleeves to blankets to line hose to hoods. One day we'll have several rubber gloves to test and the next day some want to bring in temporary jumpers that need to be tested. So instead of us having to buy several different machines to do this testing, we've bought one testing unit and we're ready to test. The machine is set for a class zero 11 inch AC and it can be changed very easily just by turning the knob. You'll see each little click, I can feel a little click as I turn the knob. It's changing to class two 16 inch, 18 inch, class three 14, 16, 18, class four. When you, when you get to the desired glove, class three, 18 inch, press your adjustment button. The machine will automatically set itself for that test. Then you just load the machine up and press the start button. The machine automatically resets. Let me load these few gloves in here. The one main advantage of this machine is that you can sort your customer's products by customer, not by class or not by the type of safety product it is. If you uh, have a customer that has class zero gloves and class two gloves and rubber blankets and line hose, you can do that entire customer with ease and then you can move on to your next customer. Uh, we're at 30,000 volts AC for class three, 18 inch. As you can see on the screen, we are reading milliamp 12, 11.2, all the way up to 15.1. The voltage is lowering. I'm going to change the machine over to class 3 18 inch gloves with DC voltage. 
Uh, I'll reset the machine to class 3 DC now. Class 3, 18 inch DC, and start the test. As you can see, we're at 60,000 volts DC for Class 3 gloves. These are the same gloves we just tested at 30,000 volts AC. Glove number 10 is, is failing on the DC test. We'll shut off system number, we'll shut off unit number 10. And restart the test. The, the glove that was failing the DC test can be inspected now while the other gloves are being retested and we're reading 18 microamps. We're not reading milliamps, we're reading microamps now. This testing unit gives us a great sense of safety being as the safety features that it does have. We do not have to worry about somebody walking up and, and reaching in and touching something while it is energized. If somebody decides to open one of the compartment doors while a test is underway, the machine will automatically shut off. It's just relieved us from a lot of safety issues that we had around the office and around the shop here. Now we're going to test some rubber sleeves. These are class 2 AC. You can test uh, five sleeves at a time in this machine. We're using the uh, hammock method. The reason why we use the hammock method, as you see here, is because we cover more surface area in testing the sleeve than we do in the straight method. Do, using the straight method, there's not as much as the shoulder area. Uh, on the sleeves, the machine is set up to where it'll give you a few minutes to make sure everything is okay and to give you a little adjustment time. As you can see, we're now at 20,000 volts AC. Each sleeve is being tested individually. The stations that are being bypassed are, are just holding the sleeves up to insulate the, the cuff in. Now I'll load uh, five more sleeves, and we'll DC test these sleeves. I will now change the sleeves to class two DC, 
And as you can see, there's several different settings and there could even be more added. Sleeves, class two, DC. Press the adjustment button and it'll set the machine. This machine tests AC or DC. The option is left up to you and the voltage is applied the same whether you choose AC or you choose DC. The advantages of using DC is you don't have to sort your gloves by length. You can put your multiple lengths of gloves in the machine and test them at the, the same time. Also, by using DC, there is no ozone created which eliminates corona cutting. You can connect a wireless bridge to your testing unit by the use of an ethernet cable where you can send your testing results to your computer and then forward them to your customer or either print them out for your customer. This machine is equipped with a computer chip in it which is like a uh, onboard flight recorder. It will record all the tests that is performed on this machine, date and time of when it was tested, and what the test results it was of the machine. This ensures that if any information is lost in your system, you can always go back and recapture that information. Jumper class 4 AC, press the stop button so it'll reset, and turn the dial to jumper 4 AC, push the adjustment button in, it is reset, and we're going to test at 40,000 volts AC. That's what's so nice about this machine, is that if your customer requires you to test AC, you've got the capability of testing AC. And if they require you to test DC, you've got the capability of testing DC. And um, if it's left up to you, then you have your option of what you feel is best. This machine is designed with two exhaust fans to eliminate as much as possible any corona cutting and ozone during your AC test. The exhaust fans come on automatically and they move enough air to where it should eliminate the corona cutting. Start testing line hose. Uh, these are class three line hose. I am now resetting the machine to AC test the two line hose class three AC and test. We are now at 30,000 volts AC and we are at 3 milliamp on line hose 1 and 3.7 on line hose 2. This machine does come in different sizes. It can be set up to where you can uh, test 
two pairs of gloves and two pairs of sleeves, all the way up to six pairs of gloves and six pairs of sleeves at a time. It is also designed with a slave switch on it to where we could set another unit right beside it. This unit would operate it so that we could be loading a different machine at the same time while this machine is being tested and it would be swapping the voltage over from one machine to the other. Class 4 DC. We're going to test the blanket at class 4 at DC voltage, which will be at 70,000 volts DC. And we're reading 12 microamps and 6 microamps. On the DC test, it's a lot less destructive. And we'll retest the same two blankets, class 4 AC at 40,000 volts. As you can see, we're at 40,000 volts AC, and we are reading 38 milliamps. If you can get a close-up of that, it's actually arcing in there. The Bond Corporation will come and calibrate our testing unit annually or they in fact will train us or you how to cal calibrate the machines that you have and this way you can calibrate them yourself without having the expense of paying someone the travel expenses to come and calibrate the machines for you. My overall experiences with the Bond Corporation, Fred and Martin and all of their employees is one that is uh, exceptional. As I travel around meeting new customers, seeing other people with cable locating or cable fault equipment that has been, been built by the Bond Corporation, when I let them know that, that we use Bond testing equipment, they start telling me how great their equipment that they have from the Bond Corporation is, how reliable, how dependable it is, that it's very easy for their men to load it, take it into the field, very easy for their men to operate. And I tell them it's the same way with the testing equipment that I use that has been built and designed by the Vaughn Corporation.